Today we start with a new chapter in standard 10th maths that is similarity. The chapter number 15th as per the concise textbook. Uh, similarity is about triangles. So we we are what, what we are going to learn in this particular chapter will be related to triangles. But as such, similarity could be between any two substances, any two things could be similar. Like for example, uh, the map of India can be a pocket size one which I can put in a pocket it could be a small pocket size one or it could be a, a big sheet like this or it could be the whole country in a, on the world map itself so depending on the size what I'm taking you can see all the three are of the same shape the pocket size the one, they are the same shape the cutout of the India, India uh, map is the same but they are of different sizes so when two objects or we can say when two figures are such that they are having the same shape but different size then we call it as a similar figure so and that similar figures the sides of that particular figures will always be in a particular ratio like for example, if you see the, the, the normally the toy cars which are there, so if you see a very good quality toy car, there will be written in the back side over there, 1 is to 35,000 or something like that. What does it mean? That if I enlarge that car to 350 times or 350,500 times, or then it will become the size of an actual car. So the size of the steering wheel inside, the size of the bonnet inside, the size of the bumpers outside, the doors inside, they are all in such a way that actual say exactly itne times less is the size of that particular model. So that's how the similar figures can be understood. So when I take two squares, so yes, all squares are similar figures. Okay, all squares are similar because all of them are the same shape, that's a square. But all rectangles are not because rectangle could be of different different shapes and sizes. Like one rectangle could be like this and the other rectangle could be like this. So here, it is not necessary that the ratio of this is the end with this is the ratio of this is to this. May not be possible. Like, or else I make it more easier. I, the length I'm taking the same as this one, but the width is smaller. So in that case, they are not similar. But all squares or circles, they are all similar figures. Now, we need to understand that when can I say that two triangles are going to be similar? Okay, we very well know that the triangles have got six different parts. The three angles and the three sides. Okay, so if I know that the angles, if angles are equal, then automatically the shape of the triangle is same because if I draw if I take a triangle like this wherein this is 60 this is 50 and this is 70 if I make another triangle over here like this which is having this as 60 this is 50 and this is 70 still you can see the shape of this and this will remain the same shape wise whatever is this will be the shape wise is equal to this only thing is this is bigger this is smaller so maybe if this side is one centimeter then this will be five centimeters if this is two centimeter this is maybe 10 centimeter and if this is three centimeter then it will be 15 centimeter over here so you can see the ratio of the sides will be same so because it's over here if i say a b c and i say p q and r then I know that if between 50 and 60 is line QR, so it is AB upon QR will be equal to 1 is to 5. Similarly, between 60 and 70 is QPR, so it is A, B and C is PR. So BC is given as 3 and this is 15. So again, you can see you come it as 1 upon 5. And similarly, AC will be equal to PQ and AC is 2 and here it is 10. So again, it is 1 upon 5. So you can see that two triangles, if the angles of the triangles are the same, if two triangles are such that the angles are same, then the ratios of the sides will also be the same. And such triangles are said to be as similar triangles. 
So similar triangles are the one which has got the angles to be same and the sides to be in same ratio. So in this way, we can see that AB is to BC, AB upon PQ, QR is equal to AC, BC upon PI is equal to AC upon QR, PQ. Okay. Now, based on this, so now every time I cannot find out every details over here. So we need to have the corresponding sides and the corresponding angles a car relationship. And uh, so it is important for us to know that, for example, when I started doing this particular sum itself, when I took AB here, what did I say? Okay, 50 or 60 ka connecting side. So that's why I took 50 or 60 ka connecting side QR. So when it was AB, I took QR over here. That means A is 50 and here Q is 50. So A is corresponding to Q. B is 60 and P, R is 60. So B is corresponding to R and accordingly C will be corresponding to P. Oh, wow. Okay. So accordingly, when I say triangle ABC, I will have to say over here, similar to triangle QRP. So the corresponding, the correspondence between the sides and the angles is very, very important in similarity. In similarity, it is very important for us to understand that which angle of triangle 1 is corresponding to which angle of triangle 2, which side of angle 1 is corresponding to which side of triangle 2, if which another side of triangle uh, 1 is corresponding to which another side of triangle 2. So this way you need to identify the correspondence of the triangle in this case. Now when you do this thing, so always make it a habit that when you write the triangles to be similar, at that time write the names of the triangle based on the correspondence. So for example, in this case itself, when we are writing, we know, when we know this particular part, automatically I write triangle ABC is similar. Now this is a sign of similarity. A sleeping S is similarity. Triangle QRP. That mean, it will tell me, it will automatically tell me that A is corresponding to Q, B is corresponding to R and C is corresponding to P. Accordingly, when I take the ratios of the sides, okay, when I take the ratios of the sides, I don't need to think or I, need to, I don't need to see the figure again and again. What I can directly do is that first two of this triangle will be corresponding to first two of this triangle, AB upon QR. Then the next two will be corresponding to next two. So that is BC upon PR. And first and the last, two first and last, that is AC upon PQ. So you can see that here also we get the same thing. ABQR, ABQR. BCPR, BCPR. ACPQ, AB, ACPQ. So this is very, very important. Otherwise, if you are trying to find out that A side ka corresponding consa, A side ka corresponding consa, it will always be difficult for you to find it. Otherwise, it is bet so it is better that when you are trying to prove the triangles to be similar, after once you are proving it, once you are putting the last statement that therefore triangle this is similar to this, at that time, see to it that you are using the correspondence properly so that you are not making any mistakes in the ratio because the mistake done in the ratio will automatically give you a complete wrong answer. So it's very important that we uh, take it this way that the correspondence should be uh, uh, rightly mentioned. So in a similar triangle, the sides opposite to equal angles are said to be the corresponding side. So, uh, yeah, side opposite to the angles, equal angles are said to be the, that means, agar main bolta hon, ye 60 hai, to B is ka corresponding side kaun sa hai? AC. Okay. B ka corresponding side is AC. C ka corresponding side is AB. 50 that is A ka corresponding side is BC. Okay. So corresponding side to an angle is the opposite angle, opposite side. Corresponding side to an angle is the opposite side in case of a triangle. And uh, similarly, uh, the side opposite to angle A upon side angle to angle Q will be okay. Take it. 
that is one part. And uh, in similar triangles, the angles opposite to proportional sides are corresponding uh, angles. So again, if I have the side, then the angle opposite to it will be the corresponding side. So it's a vice versa. That's a simple thing. Please note that in congruent triangles, the corresponding sides are equal, whereas in similar triangles, the corresponding sides are in proportion. So this is very important. Here you can see that these two triangles, they are not congruent because the sides are not equal. What is happening to the sides? The ratio of the sides is equal. That means the ratio of the sides are in proportion. Okay. That means the sides are in proportion to each other. That's why they are similar triangles. So similar triangles may the ang sides angles are equal, but the sides are in a proportion that is in a ratio. Triangles which are similar or to the same or to the same triangle are similar to each other also. So if triangle ABC is similar to PQR and PQR is similar to AB11, then ABC will be similar to 11. Now let's see the test for finding out whether the triangle is similar or not. Now of course we are not going to write everything. So that's why just say congruency may test the. We are not going to prove the three angles to be equal and then the sides also in the ratio and then we say that it is a similar triangle. No, we are going to use test for similarity. So the test for similarity will be, there is three tests for similarity. So let's go one by one through the three tests. So the first test is called as SAS test. That means side angle side test. In this case, suppose you are given two triangles and you are given that if this is 5, this is 10 and if this is 10, this is 20 and uh, this angle over here is 60 and angle over here is also 60. In this case, you can see that AB upon PQ is equal to 5 upon 10 is equal to 1 upon 2. AC upon PR is equal to 10 upon 20 is equal to 1 upon 2. And because the angle A is equal to angle P, therefore, triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR by the SAS test. So SAS test will be there when the included angle and the corresponding sides, the included the corresponding sides ka ratio is the same and the included side to that sides are into that particular so included angle to the particular sides are equal so if one angle of the triangle is equal to another angle of another triangle and in both triangles the side including the angle equal angles are in proportion then the simple triangles are similar by s a a s test okay it will be s a s test the next test what we see is the A A A test that is A A A test which is now converted into A test why because if you prove that the two triangles now suppose we don't know the size over here but I know that if one is 60 and another is 50 this is also 50 then I can easily find out that 180 minus 60 minus 50 is 70 to A 70 to A B 70 so I don't need to prove angle prove karne ki zaroti nahi hai. Because I know that the sum of the angles is 180. So if the sum of two, if, if two angles are equal, automatically the third angle will be equal. That's why we are using this test as a AA test instead of AAA test. This is not required. We just require AA test. That means if two angles of the given triangle, if two angles of both the triangles are equal, then the triangles are said to be similar by a, A test. 
So very simple, you just name the triangle. In triangle ABC and triangle B equal, angle A is equal to angle P, angle B is equal to angle Q, therefore triangle ABC similar to triangle PQR by AA test. Very simple, okay. In fact, you will be surprised but 90% of the sums what you will be solving will be by AA test. Okay, 90% of the sums in case of similarity will be AA test. The next and the last one is the SSS test. Now, of course, what will be SSS test? When the ratio of the sides is same. Agar ye 2 hai, ye 4 hai, ye 3 hai, to ye 6 hai, or ye 5 hai, to ye 10 hai. If this is the condition, then I know that AB upon PQ is equal to 2 upon 4 is equal to 1 upon 2. AC upon PR is equal to 3 upon 6 is equal to 1 upon 2. And BC upon QR is equal to 5 upon 10 is equal to 1 upon 2. Because all these ratios are same, therefore the triangle is similar by SSS test. So when the ratios of the sides of both the sides of the triangle or sorry when the ratios of both the triangles the sides of both the triangles are equal or in proportion then we call them to be as similar triangles by SSS test. So if two triangles have that three pairs of corresponding sides proportional then the triangles are similar by SSS postulate or SSS test. So this is what we are having in this particular chapter uh, for the first exercise. So we starting to start with the exercise number one. Uh, let's start with exercise one. That is 15A. Okay, so then we move on to sum now 15a, exercise 15a, first sum. They given a figure like this. They are this is parallel. AC is parallel to BD, is given to you, and you need to prove. To prove that triangle ABPC similar to triangle ABPD. Okay, this triangle and this triangle are similar, what we need to prove. And then also find out the length of PA and PC. So we have already given that the length of BD is 2.4 and that of AC is 3.6. Uh, PD is 4. PD is 4 and BP is 3.2 you need to find out PA X and Y okay this is what is required so first of all we will have to prove the two triangles to be similar for that we will be using the AA test because you know these are vertically opposite triangles angles and this one is equal to this angle because what they are yeah interior Go, uh, yeah, opposite in, uh, interior angles. Okay, so vertical. Yeah, interior angles. So alternate interior angles of the parallel, parallel lines. So you got in triangle ABC and triangle BPD. Now let's check up whether we are having the right correspondence. A and B are equal, yes, P and P are equal and C and D automatically will be equal, so that's fine. So this is in correspondence. So we write over here, angle P is equal to angle P, vertically opposite angle. Angle C A P is equal to angle P B D, that is alternate interior angles. Therefore, triangle A P C is similar to triangle BPD by AA test. Once you have this, you will be having the ratios of the sides. 
So it will be first two terms AP upon first two we have BP. Second two PC, second two PD, first and last AC, BD. And this you will be writing as CSST, that is corresponding, I will write it down, corresponding sides of similar triangles. Okay, CSST, corresponding sides of similar triangles. Now you know the values of certain things, so based on that you are just going to place it over here. So first of all you know that AC and BD, so AC and BD you already know. You need to find out this part and this part. So we already know that AC upon BD is equal to AP upon BP. AC is 3.6. Upon BC is 2.4, BD is 2.4. AP is what we need to find out. Upon BP is 3.2. Therefore, AP will be equal to 3.6 into 3.2 upon 2.4. So 6, 6 and 6, 4 is and 4 is this will be 8 Okay, of course, it will be 0 0.8. So that will give you 4.8. Uh, 8 centimeters that's AP okay the next thing is we see PC so it will be again AC upon BD is equals to PC upon PD so it is 3.6 upon 2.4 is equals to PC upon PD is 4. So that will be PC is 3.6 into 2.4 upon, sorry, 3.6 into 4 upon 2.4. Again, 0 0.66 is 0 0.64 is 4, 4 cancels, that is 6 centimeters. That's PC. That was our first sum. Quite simple. Okay. So exercise 15, A ka first sum ho gaya. 4.6. We now move on to sum number 3. In a trapezium ABCD, AB is parallel to CD, so it's a trapezium, where AB is parallel to CD, and the diagonal AC and BD intersect each other at P, so AC and BD intersect at P. Prove that, so first thing is to prove that triangle APB similar to triangle CPD and secondly you need to prove that PA into PD is equal to PB into PC. Okay, so we first prove the triangle should be similar, very simple. These two vertically opposite, this one and this one vertically opposite. They are parallel lines, so this angle will be equal to this angle. So, first of all, correspondence, we write over here. In triangle A, B, P and triangle. Now, A ke correspondence kya hai? C hai. C, D, P. Okay. So, what we have is angle P is equal to angle P vertically opposite angle and angle PAB is equal to angle PCD that is alternate interior angle. Therefore, triangle ABP is similar to triangle CDP by A 
A test. Now what we want is PA, PD, PC and PB. So PA, here is my PA, first and last, here also PA, first and last. So you know that PA upon PC is equal to, what you want is PB and PD. So PB and PD. This is C, S, S, T. So you cross multiply, you get PA into PD is equal to PB into PC. Hence proof. Same thing. There was sum number 3. We now move on to sum number 5. In triangle ABC, angle ABC is equal to twice the angle ACB and the bisector of triangle angle ABC meets the opposite side at P. Okay, so let's see the figure first. This is triangle ABC and they are given that angle ABC is equal to twice angle ACB. So if this is X, this is 2X. Angle ABC is twice angle ACB. Sorry, sorry. Angle ABC is twice angle ACB. So this is X, so this is 2X. The bisector ABC meets the opposite side at P. So there's a bisector over here which meets the opposite side. So that means this is x and this is x and this meets over here at p. Okay. You need to show that. So to prove that. Cb is to ba is equals to cp is to pa. Okay. Cb B A C P P A. Now here we can understand one thing that because B and C are ah, second thing what we need to prove is uh, A B into B C is equal to P B into C A. Okay, what we need see over here that because this was 2x and there's a bisector so this is x and this is x so that means pb and pc are equal so wherever there is pc i can write pb also so if i take these two triangles if i take these two triangles i can see that cb hai ba hai cp hai or pab hai right But the point is that how do I prove them to be similar? Okay. Uh, this is like this is x, so this will be 2x. X triangle property, and here it is 2x. Complete angle is 2x. So this is 2x in the bigger triangle, this is 2x, this is x. In the smaller triangle, this is 2x and this is x. So the automatically the smaller and the bigger triangles are similar. Did you get this? Now see this. We saw that angle C, if it is x, then angle B is 2x. And then there is a bisector which makes this as x and this as x. At the same time, in this particular triangle, the exterior angle is this one, so which is equal to x plus x, this is x plus this is x is 2x, so this will be 2x. Now, if you take the triangle APB, so we take our triangle in triangle APB and triangle ABC, okay? 
if you take this thing, we know that angle A is equal to angle A common and angle APB is equal to angle ABC is equal to 2x given or we can say not given better is we can write over here first of all that angle APB is equal to angle PBC plus angle PCB exterior angle property so is equal to x plus x is equal to 2x therefore angle APB is equal to angle of ABC is equal to 2x therefore triangle APB is similar to triangle ABC by AA test now what we want is BC over here AB from here CP we want and PA we want okay we want PA so we will take PA upon AB is equals to uh, we want uh, PA okay let me write everything PA upon PA upon AB is equals to AB upon AC is equals to PB upon BC okay so what we have is PA AB we don't require this right now so this is again CSST we don't require this right now so this if we take it on this side and this we took it on this side it will be BC or CB upon BA is equals to PB upon PA but PB is equals to PC PB is equals to PC because triangle PBC is isosceles therefore BC upon BA is equals to PC is to PA that's your first one so you prove this one now let's see the next part we wanted AB into BC PB into AC so yeah you can take this too so we we'll take this over here we will not cancel this so taking this two now so we know that AB upon AC is equals to BP upon BC so cross multiply you get AB into BC is equals to BP into AC that's second part clear so that was sum number 5 of exercise 15a we now continue in the next video